Welcome to the Prog Talks by the Prog Space. Welcome to the Prog Talks, an interview series by the Prog Space where we will be talking to musicians in all corners of the progressive music scene. Welcome back to another episode of the Proc Talks. I'm your host, Dario, and I'm happy to um, have on the phone, so to speak, uh, on the other end of the Zoom call in Paris, a Florent from 6.33 or uh, 6 hey 33 right? <laughs> yes, right, right, right. But 6.33 is okay, too. Uh, 6 h 33 6.33, the way you want. Um, yeah, welcome to the Prog Talks, Florent. Uh, great that you took the time. And um, yeah, let's dive right in. You guys have a new album coming out. It's called yeah. Fury Tales for Strange Lullabies, The Dome. But I think yep. uh, I have the feeling that you're probably um, one of France's best kept secrets uh, regarding prog music. Uh, because if it wasn't for Prog Power Europe, I think I wouldn't know about 633. And um, so maybe you can uh, start with introducing the band, uh, the project, the story, the short story so far um, for okay. our listeners. Okay. Um, it's a band without boundaries. I mean, we, we, we are coming from several, several kinds of music that we try to digest in something special, something personal. Um, we, we, we come from prog metal, uh, alternative prog metal. It's difficult to put uh, a name on the music that we made because, because we got no boundaries actually. And it's, um, it's a kind of concept band. First of all, we didn't have any drummer. The drums are programmed. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, <clears throat> we were wearing masks playing clowns or I remember um, that weirdos like um, like freak shows and that kind of stuff we're enjoying disguising us and putting masks um the concept has changed a little bit with this album i mean that we we now we have a drummer and uh, we 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 decided to to have a drummer on stage because we were missing something uh we were missing a fucking drummer behind us <laughs> we, we tried we tried the concept and we pushed it very f the, f the farthest we could uh, as we could see if you watch some some videos on internet but we didn't have the impact of the drums on stage and actually that was the moment that we decided to take one and uh and the the covid and the the, the made us being fed up with the masks so so we decided <laughs> at the same time to to stuff that was not funny anymore um <clears throat> but so so now we are more more uh, normal normal <laughs> band because it was what, really what is, I, it, what is normal when it comes to 633 <laughs> <laughs> i mean uh for, uh we we were we had to answer that question for several years it means why don't you have a drummer and we were like on this hybrid stuff but um so we were outcast and of the outcasts in a way you know and uh that's that's a reason why also we were we are you didn't hear a lot about us because we were in so different kinds of things that we were maybe like in too many things <laughs> so we try we which we, we, we tried to focus on what we were really and not being on the performance but more on what we were feeling so we made this album being really close to the things we liked in music i mean the 80s and the 90s um yeah let, <clears throat> let's let's talk about the album in a second just uh to 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 um throw in some 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 hard facts here um you guys have been existing since uh, 2010 so a little bit over 10 years now and uh, fairy tales is gonna be your fourth album right and yeah. uh, there has been quite a long gap between the, sec uh, the, the third album, Deadly Scenes, from 2015 and now Fury Tales. 
Um, so, uh, yeah, what have have you been up to in the meantime? And and uh, you already started a little bit um, describing the the process of uh, the how theory tales came to be. Um, yeah, actually, um, the band had a different singer before. It's a it's a long story, but I arrived on the and I arrived on the second album with Arnold Strobel called um, uh, the, swe- the Stench from the Swelling. Yes. Um, Arnold Strobel from Carnival in Call was like mm, playing with us. And uh, he went to his project. And so we, we made the first album together, Daily Sins. Then we decided to make a real show on the same level that we were making the music. So we spent some time doing this show that we called Asylum Picture Show 2.0 that we presented in Paris and we played some gigs in France. Then we we were on the the new album that's it, coming up. It, uh, sorry to interrupt, but but it was also with that album that you played Proc Power Europe, if I remember correctly, right? Exactly, exactly. exactly. What a crazy You're experience, perfect. I have to say. I have to add, really crazy. That, that, was, that was one of our greatest experiences too, because nobody knew us. And, um, and I, I, I had the best time with the, the, the public after them, because you, you, you know that. Downstairs, you've got a pub where to make the party, the after party show, <laughs> and um, and and we were we were really the the people came to see us like like you said like we didn't know what we were doing here with you <laughs> for the first five minutes, but then <laughs> then we went with you for the the, the rest of the show and it was crazy and the people were so happy and so we were we were like like you know when 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 you when you create music you you just want to feel this kind of thing with the public and france is not it's not an easy public with this kind of music mm-hmm. um outside you have you have the more 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 interest for that kind of music so <clears throat> we had we, we just felt that we were right to think that our music was great because at home you're at home, but when you, you you spread it to the world and you see that the people outside really feels what you what you wanted to make them feel, you're you're just you're just very happy. Beautiful. Um, and, uh, so, yeah, uh, and, I'm glad, and I'm and I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad you like this show because it was really a great one. And so then moving on to the new album, yes. Yes, and um, <clears throat> actually um, we had um, family things. I mean, I had two children. Uh, the guitarist had one, the the keyboardist had two. I get I got married. One has changed his his, his house. That made us that we we lost some time in that. But most of all, then the COVID arrived. So we were we were supposed to finish the album like a year before, and um, <clears throat> so we couldn't meet each other because. We are not living exactly in the same place, and we couldn't leave home for a long time. So yeah, we 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 lost time again. I mean, and, and the last thing that I would say is, it's quite complicated to create six thirty three's music and <laughs> and writing the lyrics. Uh, so so um, so it, it takes time. It takes yeah, time. Now, it now, time. That, now that we're back, uh, like talking about the music and how it sounds and how crazy and and. Uh, uh, what a diverse array of influences uh, you can find there. I, I just wrote down some genres that I think I hear here and there. And I don't know, there's funk, there's swing, there's hip hop and R&B, there's pop, there's a soundtrack and some waltzy kinds of stuff and circus stuff, even ska uh, <laughs> that you wouldn't uh, necessarily um, expect in a prog setting, um, gospel, church, organ, um, Synthwave, you name it. <laughs> yeah, um, that, that, you, you, yeah. I think you, 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 you're, you're already quite done. Um, that's the thing. We like, we like Michael Jackson as much as David Thompson, as much as Ennio Morricone or Danny Elfman. And uh, then hip hop is the the one shot. I did it once. Once the the Nico who is creating all the music. Um, I write the lyrics. Is creating the music. 
Nico, Nico doesn't like hip hop. Of course, he's creating the music. And uh, very often, the music is not as rich as he would love to. And, uh, but, but at one moment, well, on one song, I said, I just see hip hop here. So let's try it. And, uh, and, he, and he was open minded enough to say, OK, let's try it. And OK, OK, it works. And OK, that fucking works. So we have hip hop. But that's the most unexpected kind of music that we could have. Uh, we, we are, as soon as it makes of us laugh, as mm-hmm. soon as we found it fun, and as soon as it works, you know, you know, we keep it. It has to work. It has to make us feel something. Usually when, when, when we, we, we share the, the, the creations together, we just like feel if it works or not. Yeah. You're having fun. You're laughing. It's if, Oh, yeah, that, that okay. brings me to, to my next question, actually, because uh, um, uh, in in these when when you are looking for you know this kind of avant garde prog or whatever, I think there's a, there's an abundance. There's tons of of you know underground dissonant black and death metal and like like yeah. really really dark and heavy and brutal stuff. And um, like this kind of wacky, funny uh, stuff, like uh, like you guys do, I, I can only think of a handful of bands like you know Diablo Swing Orchestra or Skitsuit Lloyd from the Netherlands. Um, I don't know, unexpected. Maybe. Dark fashion, dark fashion, disco. Um, yeah, there's, there's only you, a handful of bands uh, that 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 are like don't take themselves so seriously and like really go <sighs> full pull into the crazy and funny stuff. Um, so I was thinking, do you think that maybe a prog metal mostly takes itself too seriously? Oh, um, maybe, maybe, <laughs> uh, maybe, but um, I think it's not like just for progressive metal. Um, uh, it's about music. You know, uh, it could be Abby Hancock, it could be um, uh, Marcus Miller say the same thing. Um, I think you have um, some people, you know, in, in jazz, I feel about the same sometimes, and I love <laughs> the New Orleans jazz. Um, it's We are not making, we're just making music and having fun doing that. Uh, I wouldn't, I think, how could I say that? I like the thing that we have several senses of humor, several several moods. So why we should just use and talk about one fucking mood? Yeah. Whatever it would be. Not I'm not like always, ha 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 ha. No, not always because it would be boring too. Uh, so we, we we are just feeling like we are we are expressing all the emotions that we like to feel. It comes from from anger to 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 funky and funny things because we are like that. Maybe I'm, I'm a bit too much like that, but um, <laughs> it's it's uh, it's all the all the emotions. I, when I wake up in the morning, sometimes I feel like listening to reggae music, and sometimes I feel like listening to to, to hardcore. Um, <laughs> it, that's that's the thing that we want to express, and mm-hmm. I think. I yeah, um, <laughs> you, you already mentioned that that you are responsible for the lyrics, and and you also said that uh, six thirty three is a is a concept band. So um, with all the albums, um, there's there's always even before you um, you arrived. I mean, with this uh, collaboration with with Arno Strobel, it, it was this Giggles, Garlands, and Gallows EP, which clearly had a narration and and like w- was telling a story um so um yeah what what's the new album about what 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 kind of story or stories do you tell in the fury tales what are the fury uh, tales <laughs> um there are stories now one story it's like it's like um do you remember the the series um uh, sliders you know you had guys with a machine traveling several dimension different dimension and they, they were going in another dimension with a, a a world different with some things sometimes it was really different sometimes it was just a small difference anyway it's like it's like a it's like a movie when you arrive in a yeah. in a in a kind of city like gotham you know a little bit different than new york see yeah see a kind of sin city 
a kind of nice. that kind of you see and then you you follow you follow the story of a guy arriving there wanted to be famous in music willing to do everything he can to reach that goal and then he's going to meet some people uh high colored people uh he's going to enter in the cabaret he's going to meet some like 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 you enter in a movie and you watch the character having his adventure mm-hmm. so so you have a like in french we say a, a red a red cord something like mm-hmm. history the guy but some songs are about one person in particular that is going to have an influence on our character ah. we're telling the story we're telling the story of that guy mm-hmm. we're telling the story for, for example of a guy called the holy golden bone <laughs> That's one of the stories. We, we, we talk about the cabaret inside when you have a big fight between females and males. That's another, that's another picture, another story about something in this world that we created. <clears throat> and at the moment, you have a, um, a lot of... How can you say that? Because my English is... Sometimes I'm searching for my words. Um, the, the character actually and the lyrics are written like they are all the voices in your head talking together to you. Ah. Like when I'm feeling it, like my way of thinking and feeling my life is this kind of thing. I feel like we are several worms in my in my in my head, like the anger one, the angry like the, one, the bunch the, of wacky the, worms. <laughs> yeah, a bunch was, of wacky uh, worms. Well, the, is the is the um opening track and, and, and also yes. one one of the singles right? it's the opening track like telling the story like that's announcing how it's gonna work it means the world the worms are talking the guy is talking but the guy is the worms <laughs> so so it's sometimes it's you sometimes it's we sometimes it's i it's how i work and how we all kind of work i mean and um, <clears throat> they are talking to us they are talking to us and I feel like that. So the guy is trying to reach his goal, having metaphysics, metaphysical quest- questions, and um, trying realizing at the moment. If he, I'm not going to tell you the story, but I told all the story. You have to read the lyrics, but he's gonna he's gonna go to his adventure, and um, and the climax is at the end of the album because it's gonna be. A double, I think. We are not telling all the story on this album. We are telling half of the story on this album. And that's the first album about the, the, the world that we created in the album, in, in the previous one. I mean, on some songs like I'm Nerd or Black Widow, we were beginning to think about this alternative world. Just a little bit different with freaks, with superheroes, supervillains, but different than the ones we, we the ones we know in our world. Yeah. So we are just we are just going through this opening door that we are opened opened a few a few a few years ago. Into so, the dome. <laughs> into the dome, exactly into the dome. I and that's the first time I really have somebody telling me the words that I've written and I thought so much time with my with my friends. So. It's it's funny to hear it. Yeah, like the dome, it's the dome, and uh, that's 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 uh, an ambience. That's an atmosphere, uh, and you have several atmospheres and several ambiences mm-hmm. because that's how a city is. How yeah. If you are enjoying this interview, please head over to theprogspace.com for more reviews, articles, pictures, and interviews all about progressive music. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Theprogspace.com um, Apart from being the lyricist, you are also the singer, uh, of course. Um, so I would like to ask you, what, what's your, what are your main influences when it comes to singing? What do you mean? Excuse me, the question is... Uh, what 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 were what are your main influences when it comes to singing? As you're also the vocalist. Um. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Um, 
Uh, I've got, I would say, um, of course, and I, I, I always get to that guy with, because he's one of the guys who uses his voice a little bit like, no, not exactly like me, because I, I learned how to sing listening to this guy. This guy is called Mike Patton. Because because um, it's a it's a, it's a good it's a good uh, it's a good mentor. But um, <clears throat> yeah, actually, when I was when I was a child, uh, I was listening to Metallica, Iron Maiden, uh, uh, and uh, trying to sing. But 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 I never managed to. I didn't. I was I was like twelve, you know, like. But I didn't. I didn't manage to, and I was wondering how, why. And and when I l- discovered Faith No More, mm-hmm. I just I just understood how he was singing i just felt like i could i do i do it yes i know how he is i managed to do that um <clears throat> then you had rage against the machine uh i love zach de la roca i love rage against the machine that's really a big influence for me and mm-hmm. i don't use it a lot on 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 633 but sometimes when i when it comes to hardcore a little bit and i think about zach <laughs> um but but faith, faith no more uh, and mr bangle yeah of course Mr. Bungle, uh, it's yeah. it's an influence for the band too because, again, not not I didn't I, I'm not going to say that I copied Mike Patton. I just understood how he was singing because his technique is 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 a, is the good technique for a singer because he's, he knows how to sing. is a is the best fucking technician <laughs> of of my world of the of the of the of the music I know yeah. because he uses his voice and uh, I I learned music then I learned how to sing I'm a teacher now I'm uh, I know how to use this instrument and he is the greatest <laughs> in that using the instrument so <clears throat> he is my main my my my, my mentor he was my mentor mm-hmm. um, and and his way of thinking music like Frank Zappa. Uh, uh, is has no no boundaries. That's yeah. the thing. About six thirty three, Primus was a little bit like that too. But Mr. Mm-hmm. Bungle in the nineties, when I was fifteen, seventies, it, it was it was it was the band without boundaries, mixing ska and 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 crooner music and and, and metal. So mm-hmm. a faith no more, a faith no more was crossover too. Yeah. It was mixing the first the first hip hop and metal song was epic. So. Um, he was he was crossing the lines. He was yeah. he was doing exactly what we were doing on, on six thirty three. So is a is a is one of the examples that we could follow. But there are, there are some others like Frank Zappa, um, for me like David Townsend for for for, for Nico. But, but for my 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 using my voice, my pattern is one, right. the one. Then you have Freddie Mercury because of the the show things. You have you have some others, but I, I'm not able to sing like Freddie Mercury. <laughs> so because they are very specific, who can who can? But like, like like a lot of singers actually, who has a very typical voice. Mike Patton and I are trying several different kinds of voices, like yeah. like like we are using all we can use. Yeah. Uh, he's, well, he's much 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 better than I. I'm just I'm just a little piece of shit. Yeah. But that's the same. That's the same. That's the same way of thinking. Yeah, whenever I think of Mike Patton, and 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 uh, I mean he's done so many things uh, in the last thirty years. I don't know um, that I that I never I I have no idea like how vast his discography is. So it's so nowhere near uh, uh, checked out all his stuff. But I always think of him that he's able to create all the most human and inhuman noises with his boys <laughs> yeah yeah it's, he, he has he has pushed he has pushed the thing like the the forest uh, uh he could i think so now it's he's, he's getting yeah sometimes sometimes i don't follow him sometimes i i follow him but that's the kind of people like i would say like prince for another example nothing to nothing to compare but yeah he's, he's so prolific that right. he goes everywhere and you and you catch what you want to catch that, that very diverse um output um as artists yeah and, and it's kind of crazy that's why I, I i learned a few days ago that he was canceling some concerts because i think he's got some mental issues and, yeah. I, and, I'm, and i'm thinking how how could he have because the situation with the covid was crazy for a lot of yeah. people and and when you are a little bit 
it's a little bit difficult to get a good uh, a good mood. Yeah. I could yeah, understand I, I how that it doesn't feel it's like. A, it's a it's a it's a brave move, and uh, sadly, still not understood by all mm, that that yeah. that this is mm, necessary. Um, a necessary decision for that this could be a necessary decision for one to make and it's 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 mm. uh, that i think i think is is feeling so bad for that about that i couldn't you hate having to say that you hate you, yeah, you, you hate that so it's so. feeling is i i mean that he, he needs it so 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 cheer up mike we, we, we wish him all the best um yeah and anyway um we 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 um i i have one one more question um regarding uh, the music or influences and um so i would like to ask you what was the last thing or last release that really blew you away it could be it doesn't have to be prog or whatever it, and it could be also a release from from a from a band or artist you knew for a long time or also some some something really new you discovered is there anything that comes to mind instantly? Let me think one second because there's not there's not so many things. Uh, this 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 last few years, I didn't have the, a lot of time to discover a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I made my children listening to the good stuff I had. You know, I have two little two little boys, so I spent a lot of time making them listening to the good music. But sometimes <laughs> it comes to me some things. I would say. Igor, Igor mm -hmm. is is a crazy fucking fuck mind things. <laughs> um, um, very good. Uh, Diab Diablo Swing Orchestra, but it's it's al it's already like quite an, an old an old discovery. Uh, Diablo Swing Orchestra, but that's yeah. the thing because because it makes me laugh because it makes yeah. because that's fucking great and that's that swing. Uh, yeah. That was something. They, you know, they, they're coming out with a new album as well uh, in November. Uh, yeah, which which is just gonna be really cool. Um, I think so. Yeah, I just had like now that we're recording this just yesterday. Um, one of my favorite non-prog bands, uh, new non-prog bands, dropped a new album, and uh, the three young guys from New Zealand are called. The band is called Alien Weaponry, and they're doing some kind of crazy Maori thrash metal. And okay, um, there's their second album, Tangaroa, and my god it blew my mind and and the th first album like three years ago or something the, the the guys were like 17 or 18 and went on to play oh, yeah. and, and summer breeze and everywhere and on the big big metal festivals and i'm so looking forward to seeing them again together with gojira uh they're okay. gonna we're gonna tour with gojira uh in fe february Excellent. next year i think so Excellent. i'm super super pumped about that this is like some really really unique stuff there um it's the only band that i know that sings like thrash metal band of course that sings in, okay. in, in their native maori tongue i would uh, love to discover that uh, yeah it's really crazy stuff and um it, it it definitely blew my mind um you guys out there you really should check out 633 because it has the potential to blow your minds as well um wow. finishing off this interview um uh we at the prog space are really happy that you guys are gonna play at our online festival yes um, and uh can you tell us uh, give us maybe a little hint uh, at what you're preparing <laughs> uh actually <clears throat> on monday we are entering in studio for a week to to rehearse uh we we did it one month ago and we do it again now because we got a concert in a few in a few weeks. But during this rehearsal, we're gonna record the songs we're gonna give you for the prog space. And um I, we are we are very excited, of course. Um we are we are gonna give you new stuff as much as we can. And also I think one of our last Hits, I would say hits. Um, hit we are we, we, we are working. Yeah, yeah. Once I think it's gonna be like I think about the the set, and I would say you'll have three new songs and one from Deadly Sins. Cool. Um, there are there are already one single that came out a few months ago, "Act Like an Animal." Yeah. That's I can I can say that we're gonna play this one. 
Okay, it's gonna be crazy. You already mentioned that that would be my my last question. You already mentioned that you you have a concert coming up, so um, hopefully the the um, moving forward um, it's it's gonna be more easy to play live again in in general in in the world. Um, <laughs> <laughs> about any any more plans other than that uh, so far that you can talk about? Um, some plans, not not nothing really ready to concrete. announce but you're working um but we're working on it uh it's kind of difficult because all the concerts that were programmed are coming to be reprogrammed uh yeah. now and until until Everything september fully booked <laughs> yes until 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 next year like yes. like sep september next year in france yeah. it's already very blocked but we still can find small places like cool places We are to we have to organize that. We are trying to we are working on that with some French bands, and uh, and uh, I'm talking with Diablo Swing Orchestra actually because uh, we are we are just we just sent a message that we just in, introduced ourselves. Yeah. Um. So for the moment that's nothing. I know that I want to come to France. They're not sure. We are trying to to uh, we we would like to help them to come here and that's, to make that something. That would be to, um, a uh, great match, of course. <laughs> that's a, that's the kind of band that I would love to play with. Um, but we are trying to. There are, there are some good good bands that I would love to share stage with, like Dirty Shirts. It's a mm -hmm. it's a Romanian you know band. Them. Yes. that's a very good one. That's yes. they are they are they are they are Mihai Mihai is a nice. I I, I, are, I saw them I saw them opening for for um, Orphan Land. Vacuum? Okay, uh, no, I'm with Orphan Land here in Munich, and yeah, they're 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 super fun. They're like like yeah, Balkan Core or whatever you want to call it, <laughs> whatever you whatever you want to call it. But, uh, but there are people that a lot of fun to... as well, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, we played with them several years ago, and we would like to 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 do that again. We are trained to make things with um <clears throat> with bands, nice bands. That we would love to share. That's cool. With. That's uh, that's that's great. Uh, that the scene is like also kind of coming together in this crisis and 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 trying to to reach out and help each other. And uh, the metal, yeah, the we, metal, we, the, the metal world is is. Yeah, uh, we we we're gonna we're gonna come back stronger. <laughs> yeah, and uh, the the the, the metal time. community, the metal community is. Uh, I I play in different kind of music stuff i play several kinds of music with other bands other projects anyway mm -hmm. so I, i i know that metal the metal community is the is the greatest one for for band for small bands mm -hmm. of course you have you have the big bands that are, that are going to play easily but but for us for the small bands yeah the public and the community is is um helping us they are they are still the one that by merch That support us. Last time I, I I had a message from a guy who has ordered the new CD, but he doesn't have a CD player. He <laughs> just he just wants he just wants the object and to support. And um, that's, awesome. that's that's what I'm saying. So that's thanks to these people, thanks to the, these people that we are <laughs> hoping that we are hoping to be back stronger and uh, for long. We are trying to reach the the step. Up uh, with 633. Uh, another step, yes. Yeah. Um, and um, we try to do that with thanks. Yeah, and I, I, I also want to thank the people uh, watching or listening to the Proc Talks. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you, Florent, for taking the time. It was a pleasure having you here on the Proc Talks. Pleasure um, for me too. You guys out there, uh, check out 633 on the socials. You find all the links in the description as always. And uh, Go and order their crazy, crazy good new album, Fairy Tales for Strange Lullabies, The Dome. Thanks uh, so stay much. Stay tuned for the um, appearance of 633 on the Procspace Online Festival, the third edition this November 19th and 20th. Um, again, thank you for listening. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, uh, To our channels if you uh, like what we're doing uh, it's very much appreciated and helps us out a lot and yeah until next time stay safe and keep spreading that prog love the prog talks produced by the prog space main host rune belsvik reynos produced by rune belsvik reynos vanessa and matthias kirish All graphics and animations by Vanessa Kirsch. 
Intro theme by Giuseppe Negri. Outro theme by Sack Munibis. This was the Prog Talks by the Prog Space. See you in a week.